keep it secret, it's a different bills. Hey, don't go dim it, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me win, you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, right? Today we're gonna talk about how to make a tempo pushing five, but before we get into the video, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. It's like up the video, push the video to the recommended, and of course, subscribe and put you know the game for my daily uploads. But without further ado, let's hop straight into this video. <clears throat> so first and foremost, left or right hand, it doesn't really matter what hand you in, it's not gonna change the name of the build. Um, I decided going left handed, all right? We're gonna go 6'8 with this, 224 pounds with a seven foot six wingspan, okay? So, and the reason being is because we wanna make sure we get that 85 offensive rebound. Um, so, at the end of the day, you can change this any way you want to. The rebound is not gonna have much to say with it, but since I do have strength on this build, I went ahead and went with the 85, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do here is this. First and foremost, you already know, we're gonna make sure we get every attribute and it matters. We're going 81 on the speed. That's gonna give us not only our chase down, but ours also gonna give us our speed booster on silver and a hyper drive on bronze. We also gonna go 73 in acceleration. This is gonna give us our blow buys on bronze and our fast feet on silver, okay? So very important here. Then we're gonna go 84 on the strength. 84 strength will give us bulldozer on silver, and move on four star on silver, and brick wall on silver. So remember, this build is more so of a secondary ball handler type build. So even though it's a center and it's six, you know, in it's the center position, if you was in the park, yeah, you can run us at this, you can run us as a center. If you was in the wreck, this wouldn't be ran as a center. When you would load, load up, you got you want to you're most likely to be playing like the small forward power forward spot. Hopefully, it's the power forward spot. I think the power four spot is definitely a sweet spot for this build, okay? Um, then we're gonna go 75 on the vert, <clears throat> and that's just to make sure we get like the Giannis dunk packages and all the other type stuff. Um, and then we're gonna go 93 um, on stamina, okay? So that's where we're having whatever our physicals. Looks really strong here, right? So check this out. Everything's gonna matter here. You already know the vibes. Check this one here. 80 on the driving layup. 80 driving layup will give us Pro Touch Hall of Fame. Very important here, right? So you get that Pro Touch Hall of Fame. And then, of course, by doing that, it will allow you to finish at the basket with the layups really strong. Um, again, 80 driving layup will give you like Jimmy Butler, uh, Russell Westbrook. There's some really good layup packages that you get there, okay? Then we're going to go 75 on the driving dunk. So 65 to 75 is a lot of solid dunk packages in this game. Do not get deterred. You do not have to get contact dunks on this game. Um, at the end of the day, like you're, if you want to get contact dunks, that's one thing. But you can't get contact dunks with this build. If you do, if you go too high up, um, if you go past 80, it will be called a slasher, believe it or not. So just keep that in mind, all right? <clears throat> um, then we want to go 85 at the um, standing dunk. Now, the 85 standing dunk will give us every single dunk pack, standing dunk packages in the game. So that's the dope thing. Now, you're not over 6'10", so you don't get any contact dunk. So I didn't even try to go too high up, even though you really could theoretically go up to 92 to get like precision dunker and fast switch and rise up, all that stuff. But I'm cool with just the 85. But again, you can change things around to be able to get that if need be, okay? Now, mid-range shot. We're going 76 on the mid-range. So as you see, when you go from 72... You get the mini position and open looks on silver. Then the next batch will be 76 because you'll get the dead eye at 75, green machine and space crater at silver with the 76. So again, very important to be able to have that mid range jump shot and you will be able to do that with this build. Then you want to go 77 with the three ball, all right? 77 three ball is just because you're trying to get as high as you possibly can if I change the name on a three ball. And so um, by going 78, it does change the name. So we're going to stop there. Then we're going to go 87 on the free points. Just have some stuff left over. So we're going to be able to shoot the free throw really well. Um, so silver free points is really good. Like if you can try to get at least 80 on your free throws, very solid. 71, I always go on line my builds, but I do find myself missing more than I should. But excuse me, but by going above 80, you should be pretty solid there, right? 
Now, pass accuracy, you already know the vibe. 77, that's comp. Like I said, man, we always try to go 77. It gives you the needle threader on bronze. It's very important to be able to have that, especially if you're going to have any way of a secondary ball handler type because this is a secondary ball handler. So you do want to have the ability to make sure if people are trying to cheat in the paint and you dot the corner, the needle threader will stun those individuals trying to cheat. So that's why I always try to go there, right? Then we're going to go 85 on the, on the ball handle. That's I already know. The 85 will give you the, the ankle breaker on Hall of Fame. It will also give you physical handles. Physical handles really negates that lockdown, that clamp badge. So if by having that with that strength, it sets it off really, really well. You also get the handles for days. And of course, the big one here is going 75 with your speed with ball. 75 speed with ball again, we see right there, will give you the blow, your blow buys on silver, your hyper driver on silver, and your speed booster on silver, and you get triple strike on silver. The bill can dribble, right? Magic Johnson dribble style. You know, uh, who else we got? Uh, Kevin Durant. Um, Zach Levine, um, the pro dribble animations. You get a lot of these good and dribble animations with that 75 speed with ball. So go ahead and enjoy yourself with that, all right? We'll go 61 on interior defense, and then we'll go all the way up to 87 on the perimeter. Now, 87 on the perimeter, as you see, will give you that gold challenger. Again, like I said, this build is going to be a pretty much an enigma. It's right? going to be pretty unique in how it's made because it can do a little bit of everything. The build has the ability to play some good defense on the perimeter, right? You get silver clamps, ankle braces, fast feet, pick dodger, 94 feet, workhorse. You get, oh my goodness, you get off-ball pass, which is, to me is one of the best badges on the game. You'll be able to get that on gold and, of course, challenger on gold, work on the perimeter and that pick and roll. Then, of course, we're going to go 60 on the steal just to get that passing lane steals. Again, everything's animation-based. If you want to get a steal, you have to at least get your interceptor, okay? Now, your block is going to be at 68. Okay, 6 8 block will give you the animation. Now, if you want to be able to have, you can switch it. If you want to have chase down on silver and anchor and all that type of stuff, drop this down to an 81 and get this up to a 78 and drop your free throw down to a 71. So, not trying to confuse nobody. Drop your free throw to a 71, drop your perimeter to an 81, and that will allow you to get a 78 block and that will give you chase down. <coughs> on silver and that type of sort okay but i just i like going like this because most of my time i'm on the perimeter then 85 on the offensive rebound and then of course 80 on the defensive the 85 offensive as you can tell will give you that box out on gold you also get rebound chaser pogo stick and a coach post 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 playmaker on silver so the build is really really solid all around there's not a lot of flaws in it it's going to be able to do what you want it to do especially if you like to run in the park this is gonna be a really good park build and the name is gonna be extremely rare. So again, it's all about preference, it's all about what you like and your style, but there is nothing wrong with this. This should be very, very fun to play with. And then of course, here you have it, my nephews and nieces, the Temple Pushing Five. Like, very rare build, man. Like, I have not seen this build at all in the park. And again, as you can tell, the build is really, really solid. So you can bring it out there and rest assured that you're going to have some fun and you're going to be able to confuse a lot of people with this. But let me know in the comment section what you think about the build. What would you change differently? Of course, just keep in mind, changing the attributes could change the name. And again, if you want to get that higher block, just drop your perimeter defense and drop your free throw to 71 and you will be able to get that block, that chase down. So I know some people like to get the chase down block higher. Me, I just care about just getting the chase down animation on bronze, right? But other than that, this is your favorite old head, Uncle Demi. I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. And you know, when I say back soon with the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.